y'all, we are going to be going over my skincare routine and I'm going to also be talking about a product that really um, kind of made me want to do this video in the first place, but we will get to that later. I do just want to start off by saying that I'm not wearing any makeup on my face right now. Um, I do, however, have on my brows, a lash, um, a little bit of eyeshadow, and just a little bit of concealer and powder just right under here so I don't look like a zombie from The Walking Dead. Uh, fun fact, I've never watched The Walking Dead. I think that it is overrated garbage just because a lot of people watch it, so come at me. <laughs> Um, with all of that being said, we are going to jump right into it. Now, every single night before I go to bed, I do take off my makeup and I do my skincare routine. No matter how late it is, no matter how tired I am, I always do this because you should. So, as soon as I wake up, you know, brush my teeth, do all that business, I start on my skincare routine. And the first thing that I do is go in with this micellar water from Garnier. This is my favorite one that I've tried so far. This is the original one with the pink cap on it. I don't like the blue cap one or the green cap one. They're just not my jam. But that one is literally my life and soul. I cannot even tell you how many of these bottles that I've gone through. The next thing that I will go in with is this from Mario Badescu. It is the glycolic acid toner. This is um, my first bottle that I've used from this one. I used to use the, oh gosh, what is it? The Pixie Glow Tonic, um, but for whatever reason, I could not get it for a very long time from my uh, Target that I would go to. I liked to get the to-go one, so it's the ones that are in... Um, the little jar container and they had like cotton like really thin cotton rounds in it and I liked that one because I did not go through it as fast as I did the actual liquid bottle but like I said I couldn't get that one for a long time and I absolutely had to have a toner because if I do not use a toner that has glycolic acid in it my skin gets very rough and dry and just it's not a good feeling so I found this and I've been really really enjoying it so the next thing that I will go in with in the morning is a little bit of tea tree oil if I'm having a breakout. Now, I have no active breakouts on my skin right now whatsoever. Anything that you're seeing right here, all of that is just flat um, scarring. Um, I did have a couple breakouts um, like a week ago. These are from a few days ago, but everything is completely flat now and I am left with scars. That's just how my skin is, unfortunately. Um, so any active breakouts, I will just dab a little bit of this on it and let that dry and then go through the rest of my routine. So after that, I will go in with my moisturizer, which is my absolute favorite from Neutrogena. It is the Hydro Boost Water Gel Hyaluronic Acid one. Um, absolutely love this for my moisturizer. It's just, it's amazing. I've gone through many, many jars of this as well. And the absolute star of the show, the whole reason why I wanted to film this video is this from Sunday Riley. It is the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Vitamin C Turmeric Face Oil. This has done just absolute wonders for my skin. I cannot do my skincare routine without using this. I just, I can't. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel that it has really helped fade acne scars on me. Um, you can go back into previous videos and you'll see like right here and on my other cheek right here, I did have very dark marks from previous acne that I had, very dark scarring. And since using this, I just, I just feel that, you know, it has really, really, really faded those marks. Sorry, I'm really tongue tied right now. It's been a long one trying to film this video, but like I said, this is an absolute gem. Um, this one is a half an ounce, um, which the half ounce is $40, the full ounce is $80. I don't really care. It could be $60, $80, $70, $100, $100, and I would still repurchase this. This is how much I am absolutely in love with this. Um, I did receive this in an Allure Beauty box. I believe it was the January one, which that one was my last box because I have canceled the subscription. That's not really important to anything that we're talking about right now, but I'm so happy that I received this before I canceled. Um, 
So I have been using this for about two months now and you know, like I said, it's really been helping with my skin. Now moving in to my evening skincare routine. Now this will kind of change up depending or not if I am wearing makeup that day. If I am not wearing makeup that day, I will do my skincare routine the exact same way as I did in the morning. So that is the micellar water, the toner, um, going in with a spot treatment if I need it, and then my moisturizer and the CEO Glow. However, if I am wearing makeup that day, um, prior to getting in the shower, I will use any sort of makeup remover wipe. I don't really care what kind they are, just as long as it gets the makeup off of my face. Then, once I am in the shower, I will use this, which is my new favorite cleanser. I, it, I don't know. It took me a while to find a really good cleanser that I really liked, um, and this one I'm absolutely in love with. It is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is absolutely amazing. It cleanses my skin really well, but it doesn't dry it and it doesn't just strip out all the natural oils in my skin. It leaves my face feeling clean, but really soft. Um, so I love that. I hate the feeling of cleansing your face and just having like that really dry, like wall kind of skin. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies and I don't like it at all. Also, whenever I'm in the shower, just kind of depending um, on whenever the last time that I used this was, I will go in with my exfoliator, which I do use about two to three times a week, which is the Ole Henriksen Transforming Walnut Scrub. I absolutely love this. It's just a really good cleanser that, again, it doesn't super strip my skin. Not a cleanser. I said cleanser. This is just a really good exfoliator, and it doesn't strip my skin or, you know, it doesn't feel too rough on my skin. It's absolutely amazing. It has walnut powder and ginseng extract in it. It's just really awesome and I will most likely repurchase this one as well. So once I am out of the shower and I've done all of that, um, if I have any sort of like residue eye makeup left on like uh, mascara or eyeliner, I will just grab my micellar water on a cotton round just to clean up those areas. And I will go in again with my glycolic acid toner. So after the toner, then again, I will go in with a tea tree oil. And I do use 100% pure tea tree oil. Um, I just grab a little dab of it and then dab it on any sort of active breakouts that I have. Um, and I do let that fully dry before I go in with my next product, which is, again, my moisturizer. After the moisturizer, I will kind of, it just kind of depends, I will sometimes go in with this. It is also from Sunday Riley. I got it in the same Allure Beauty Box as my CEO Glow. Um, but this is the Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. I really, really enjoy using this, and I'm probably going to purchase it the full size. Um, I'm not using it how they recommend, because they do recommend building up, you know, the usage. So going from like one to two days a week and building up to like every other day or every few days or something. Um, but I've been trying to stretch this out for as long as I possibly could. So I only use it about once a week. But I will say that since using that, and my CEO Glow, that the fine lines between my eyebrows and along my smile lines right here, they have really improved since using those products. So after, after, <laughs> so after the retinol, I will go in with my CEO Glow. As always, I do use this morning and night. It is absolutely amazing. And I think that is about it. So really the whole entire reason that I wanted to do this video is because of this lovely product right here that I am definitely going to repurchase in the future once I run out. And I will say that I've had it for like, you know, about two months now and I've only used maybe what that's like a third of it or a quarter. I'll say a third. I've used like about a third of it. Um, and I just use four drops, two on each cheek, and I pat it in, and yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you did. Please give me a like, um, you know, throw me a little thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified every single Tuesday at 6 p.m. whenever I post a new video. And I guess that's it, y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Turn it up. Let's go. Let's go.